Creating loopable animations inside of After Effects is easy to do, but what about highly illustrated scenes? Well, they're also very easy to loop. So in this After Effects video, learn how to extend any scene and keep it looping forever. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously. And if you're ready to create a loopable scene with an object that also is animating within the scene, let's jump in and let's get started. So as we scrub through this scene, you'll know that it's completely loopable. It'll go on forever, however long you determine this scene to be. So first, we need to talk about how to acquire these assets. As you know, if you watch any of our other tutorials, we get our free vector assets off of freepix.com. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, and you can download pretty much anything that you search for. So you're going to be able to download these vector files uh, and use them inside of After Effects. So once you download your files, uh, you're going to want to open them up in Adobe Illustrator. So make sure that's installed. Uh, and once you're in Adobe Illustrator, all we need to do is just rearrange some of the layers here uh, and make sure that we have everything isolated for After Effects. So I want to use this bottom artwork down here. So what I can do is go to our Layers panel. You can go to Window Layers, and we can open up the layers and kind of see how things here are adjusted. So we can see that this bottom layer is in its own group. What I can do is click on this hollow circle icon right here and this will select everything then i can just copy this and go to file new and we'll use 1920 by 1080 here and we'll click create and the only thing we're gonna do here is hit Control v to paste in what we've copied so one thing you'll need to do is if it's really small you're gonna have to just go ahead and make it larger hold down shift on your keyboard so you can keep everything proportional and then once you have everything scaled up to the size that you need to fill up the left and right of the artboard here come here to layers we can open this up and we can remove objects that we don't need so if i don't need these objects here in the center i can select them and i click on delete and now they're removed from our scene so now what we can do is go to file save as and we call it forest done and i'll make sure it's an illustrator file.ai and click save and now we're ready to move over to after effects all right, so now that we have After Effects booted up, first thing we want to do is create ourselves a new composition. Make sure it's 1920 by 1080. Click Continue. Then we want to import the Illustrator file that we just saved into our project panel. Make sure the import kind is Footage and click on OK. Then let's go ahead and drag and drop this into our new composition. And then what we can do is hit Astro on Keyboard for Scale and just scale this up so we can remove any black borders. We just want to fit this within our composition correctly. So your work might be a little different. One thing you'll notice when you scale is you'll lose a little bit of fidelity. So you can click on this continuously rasterize icon here and that'll keep all the geometry perfect. So there's no pixelization. So the main thing we need to do here is make the scene loopable because you know if we move this over from left to right, well, eventually we'll run out of room. So what we'll do here, instead of using the motion tile effect, which is what I normally use, I'm going to go ahead and just go to edit duplicate on this layer. And I'm simply going to hit S on my keyboard for scale, break the chain, come here to the X value for the scale and add a negative to it. And this will simply just flip it over, right? This will flip the scene over. So then we can move it over and then we can simply try to connect as best we can. And the reason why I'm not using the motion tile effect for those of you who understand what it does, uh, the reason why I'm not using it is because we want to be able to have that extra room to perfectly place this where we see uh, it works the best. So you're welcome to duplicate these and extend the edit as far as you need it to be. But then what we want to do is animate this. So we'll come here to layer new null object and we'll parent both of these vectors or if you have three or four, you can just parent all to the null object and simply just hit P on your keyboard for position. We'll go ahead and set the X position over here all the way on the right side of our work. Add a keyframe for it, move forward in time and we'll set the X position all the way over depending on how long we want this scene to loop on for. So I'll just go to the other side, for example. So now we're going to have this nice right to left animation that can go on for however long you need it to be. Before we move on, as you know, creating motion graphics from scratch takes so much time and it's just challenging. To help you get work done in under a minute, we have produced over 10,000 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. For example, in our Pulse Pack, you can preview these really cool templates and then apply them to your project. From there, you can change the settings to your needs and bam, another project complete. To see all of our templates and start saving time right now, be sure to check our links below. All right, so one thing you may notice about the cut between the two files here is that you know it might not match up perfectly. So we're gonna do a little technique here to hide the cut. So what I was just doing uh, is perhaps find another object, maybe within your scene or outside of uh, your download and grab an object. You can control click and that'll isolate the entire object if you downloaded it uh, from a professional vector site. You can copy it uh, and you come to file new. And we'll go ahead and create that 1920 by 1080 document. We'll just paste that in there and then we can just save this file 
and we can call it tree. And then back in After Effects, we'll import that file. We'll go ahead and make sure it's set as footage, click OK, and we'll bring this into our scene. And we'll go ahead and scale this up and position it to hide that cut. And we can hit the continuously rasterize icon. And you know, that looks pretty good. And then all we have to do is make sure it's parented to that null object, that tracker. And this way it'll be in the scene and it'll hide that cut. And also what we can do, we can use this as a foreground object because when we add another object in here, we can have our, say this guy on the bicycle, go behind that tree. So we can actually take this layer and we can duplicate it a few times, move it over and just put it in random areas in our sequence here. Uh, so we'll have somewhat of a foreground object. All right, so now we have this loopable scene, but what about actually adding in a third party object? So we have this person on a bicycle here riding through the forest. How can we add something like this into our scene and animate it? Uh, if you're not interested in this, you can consider the tutorial over, but if you're really interested in how we can animate this bicycle, this other object here, uh, you can learn a few techniques uh, right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and downloaded this file from FreePix and went ahead and isolated one of the bicycle layers into its own project here in Adobe Illustrator. And before we save it and bring it over to After Effects, uh, we're gonna wanna isolate some of these objects to make our job easier uh, with animations. So for example, we're going to isolate some of the objects on this bike, so like the wheels, uh, the pedal, and also maybe the leg and foot here. Uh, so it'll be very easy to animate this in After Effects. So what we're gonna do is create a couple new layers here. So you click that new layer icon right here. We'll go through layer one, which holds all of the editing in here. And we see that there's a bike layer here. I'll go ahead and put this in its own layer real quick and you can just rename this to bike. But we also wanna isolate the wheels. So what we'll do is go into the layers here and we'll see wheel ones here. And we know that's the front wheel. We'll go ahead and rename it. We'll create a new layer and we'll put the other wheel into that new layer. And we'll make sure the bike layer is underneath the original work here. Uh, and we want to make sure everything is layered correctly. So first things first, we'll go ahead and create another layer here and we'll go through the main core of elements. We'll go ahead and control click to see where everything's at. You see how, how everything highlights here. I'll make sure that back foot and back leg are in its own layer underneath everything. And we'll make sure it's underneath the bike layer so we can keep everything how it originally was set up, but have everything isolated. And lastly, we'll go ahead and take the front leg and put it in its own layer as well uh, and make sure it's above everything else here. So we can keep everything how it originally was. So once all said and done, you can go to file, save as, and save it as an illustrator file. So we'll go ahead and import our saved illustrator bike layer. And instead of this being set to footage, make sure it's set to composition and click okay. And then we can go ahead and bring that composition into our main one. And before we blend this into our scene, let's go ahead and animate the bike first. So we'll go ahead and open up that layer and we have all those individual layers that we saved. So what we can do is animate the wheels first. We'll go ahead and grab the pan behind tool here at the top and set the anchor point to the center of that wheel because we want to set the animation to revolve around the anchor point. So once the anchor point is set, you hit R on our keyboard for rotation. I'll click the stopwatch, type in time, asterisk 200. And now this will animate forward like that. So then we did the same exact animation for the back wheel uh, and also the pedal, which we also isolated, which is a simple rectangle. So then just to animate the legs. What we'll do is use the puppet pin tool. So we have our leg front here. We'll double click it. We'll grab the puppet pin tool here at the top and we'll select the point here roughly around the knee and then a the point here at the bottom. And simply we'll move forward here in our timeline. And all we're gonna do is try to match our foot uh, to the pedal area and we'll just scrub through here and just you know try to keep this in a circular motion so then when you have the circle motion going in here uh, all you need to do is hit you and keyboard to bring up the keyframes all click stopwatch for those keyframes that you created and type in loop out with a capital o open close parenthesis and this will keep the animation going on uh, forever so I went ahead and also animated in the back leg. Now this is by far not a great animation, but because of the scene, I don't need it to be perfect. So then what we can do is back in our main composition, is we can blend this together. So all we need to do is scale this down by hitting S on keyboard. And we'll go ahead and position this on the right side of our composition. Uh, then we can just break the chain for scale and add a negative symbol in front of the scale because we want it to face the other direction. And then let's come here to effect, color correction, tint. And we'll change these colors to the blue color palette. And then we can make like one of these colors a little darker uh, to create that nice contrast. And it looks like he belongs in the scene. And then make sure that our bike layer is underneath those foreground trees. So then we'll be able to blend right in there. 
So now with our animation done, we'll have the scene that will go on forever, completely loopable, uh, very easily done here in After Effects and Illustrator. So be sure to hit that subscribe button for more After Effects content like this, and always be creative.